green bushes. And lithium can be used for The Shamrock Hotel, Green Bushes. The St. Barnabas, Green Bushes, founded at 1900. The Anglican Church of Australia. Where's the lookout? Well, thank you very much. Three hundred and sixty-five, and established on eighteen eighty-nine. Location: two hundred and fifty kilometers, one hundred and fifty-five miles south of Perth, Western Australia. Shower Bridge Town, Green Bushes, and Estate of Electorates, Warren Blackwood. Open daily eight to five p.m. Alrighty. It's a bit steep, so we go this way. Thousand lithium welcome, green bushes, public mine. Look out! All right, we go this way. Is any wildlife birds? Can you hear that birds? I'm not quite sure what bird is that one. I'm all by myself here. I'm not quite sure of the people over there. I'm just the one out here. No cars around there. Huh? It's open daily for public viewing. 8.30 to 5 o'clock. This unusual flower. Oh. Nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. I, I'm enthusiast. All right. I'm going to look at this lookout. I need an exercise anyway. Walking. <laughs> if you judge people, you have no time to love them. That's Mother Teresa says. Alrighty. Good exercise here, guys. <laughs> My car way out down there at the car park. See? <laughs> the town of green bushes. And it's still currently operating, I think. There you are, guys. There is a truck down there. They actually have that pipe there running. I think that's water pipe. Down there. Thousand Lithium, a world leading lithium minerals producer. And lithium can be used for bush bikes. 
lithium balance supplements, battery, cell phone, tools, battery, white lithium grease, cooking pans, cars, and that's how they mine these. Lithium. All right, let's go into the lookout. That's an old, uh, oh, that's a big. I should have brought my stand. Mining pits. The history, mining history is like it started 1888 to 1968. These are the pictures. This is the mining. 1969 to 1997 and this one here upgraded to 1998 to 2019 and the mining processing plant Laboratory. Laboratory. There you go, guys. Mm. These mine sites currently operating. On the, they moved on the other side of the ground. These ones that has water in the bottom has been finished and they cannot find any more lithium. So they moved on to the other part of the ground. I better not drop my phone, hold it properly. And this part here that they've been digging, I think it's about 200 to 250 meter deep. From here to the processing plant. And, oh, I can see more trucks. Wait and at the end, it's about one kilometer right up the other end, probably more. And they have been digging this. The way they dig it, it's like they blow it up. And that's the processing plants right there and the offices as well. And where they park the trucks. And on the edges, on the sides of these mines, you can see those uh, rocks. And it's got a uh, walking track down there. They have, they call that a water cart to keep the dust down and not blowing. So they have to wet the tracks where the dump trucks are running. Now this mine site is about uh, one in one and a half hours or about one fifteen minutes from where we live. It's not that bad uh, tribe actually. And this lookout secured by screen so that no one will fall off the cliff while looking at the mine site. And that's the processing. right there and the offices as well and where they park the trucks and on the edges on the sides of these mines you can see those uh, rocks 
and it's got a uh, walking track down there this one. and they have they call that a water guard to keep the dust down and not blowing so they have to wet the tracks where the dump trucks are running on the tracks now this mine site is about uh, one in one and a half hours or about 115 minutes from where we live all right everyone don't and stop watching this video because we have uh, visitors that came and tell us the story about this and you live here no i live in uh, the other side of donnybrook inland uh donnybrook uh so what do you do down here in this uh part of well, my I've side here for two months work oh, okay from over east no no from a farm because the price of water went down did it yeah this is 19 i never followed the 1989 moon. yes that's when i came here 1989 months, and yeah. this one is like <laughs> 19. I've been here 35 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. When I came here, there was just one big shed. Right. Working for so you work here or in the mine or just around the town? No, I work in uh, construction, uh, building the new plants and on shuts, maintenance. Right. What I do, I, but people that are working in a hole, I watch them now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they have to For sign. supervisor. Yeah, well, Something it's like that. Uh, safety observer. Ah, yeah, yeah. safety observer. So okay, go in the that's hole, an interesting job. And then I write down when time they go in, and then when they come out. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, it's, a, it's an old on the mine site, even in the diamond mine site, they actually um, have to bury their um, equipment. So the trucks that they use inside the mine site, because of they thinking. If something is stuck in there, they don't have to go out or something like that, right in the Kimberley. Or, no, they're in the Kimberley, it's going to know that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard anyway. Yeah. Okay, it's an interesting job. It is, they don't, they don't mind this anymore. When I came, they used to... They don't mind this anymore? This part here, no. It's, it's, it's underground here. It's yeah. Underground. Under here, mm. where we are standing. And now they... See, the road used to go right through here. Oh, really? No, green bushes. In here? Yeah, that road. You know when you come through past the little shop? Yeah. The garage? Yeah. In the corner. Then it's there. a dead end. The next street down, well, that used to go right on through. So, what this pipe is all set? Uh, oh, part of the mine, yeah. Pumping water. Yeah, so, but they still mining over that in, are they? That's all lithium, yeah. This is the world's purest lithium. Yeah, I see that, and they they use this for uh, a lot car. of things, yeah. electric cars and stuff Electric. like that. Yeah. And now it's going. I don't think I'll have electric car style. Would you? No, well I'm a car fanatic. I've got ten cars, <laughs> and I don't want electric cars. You get collection. You get collections of cars, have you? Yeah. <laughs> so this part here, they don't mine it anymore. This bit, no. This is just blocked off for now. I uh, went about and that end now, are That's they? That's all where they're mining over there now. Yeah. Ah, right, okay. And they've cleared all the forest out the back and they're going through the tailings. Yeah. Just here, up here, <laughs> is, is, that's, that's the workshop. Yep. For the big, big vehicles, the trucks. Yep. And they all, um, but last, when I was last here, they, they used to come up around the side. Here? Um, yeah. But it's all, uh, I don't know, they get in there. And again. they just keep this for, uh, look at or whatever well, we this, used to be a well, history thing yeah well it used to be tantalite so they were mining here yeah which they still mine some i worked yesterday with tantalite did you but i drive a truck as well as an, uh, do you? the dump truck no no or I just the truck that to go ton. around or something i take the lithium uh-huh to where well, not lithium i take the tantalite where do you take it to? To the, another mine, Global, further down the road. Is that the processing area thing or what? It's processing for tantalite. It used to all belong to one, but then they split up about yeah. 30 years ago. And Global, 
They own all the minerals yeah. on the mine site, except lithium. <laughs> and Talison ah. mine the lithium, which is 90% of everything they take from Australian me. company? It's, it was Chinese, and then Chinese. half the Chinese, they couldn't afford it. Yeah. And an Australian bought, there's about 25% Australian. Ah, right, 50% okay. American. Yeah, oh, right. And 25% Chinese. Oh, okay. Uh, one truck, you know, you see the trucks go through Donnybrook? Yeah, big trucks. Yeah, in Donnybrook. Well, they go from here to Bunbury to the harbour, yeah? Yeah. To Kemberton. Yeah. So in one truck is $450,000. Yeah. So every truck, every two trucks is a million dollars worth. They're making like 13 million a day here. A day? A day. Holy cow. Yeah. 25% is much of that. 25% <laughs> is already big enough for 30 million a day. But then again, well, they when they have the to town, take out a lot of oh, it's a lot of work, workers costs. and costs. Oh, they're giving it to, to the town. Oh, okay. To upgrade the swimming pool, the tennis courts. Right. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, old people's home. Just to say, here you are, you can have this and upgrade yeah. all. Do they know, get a whatever. tax from it as well? Yes, they do, yeah. It's that ute over there that's going around. And yeah, that's right. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my video. And that is the story of the... I'm on my way home now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon.